Hello viewers, here is a Dell PowerEdge 1800 server computer. Picked this up at a tag sale years ago now, probably at least two or three. And this is one of many projects that I had in mind and just never found the time to do, so I stuffed them in the back of the closet and they sat unnoticed for years. But now I'm finding more time and trying to dig stuff out and use it. So this is the next thing that I'm going to be working with. When I first got it, I had thought about setting it up as my main desktop computer if I could find a good graphics card to use with it. But I ended up getting this machine over the period of time that that was sitting instead. And this was, was ready to use. Um, this has a a four core processor it's not one of the more recent versions this is a relatively old machine but it's more than powerful enough for anything I do on the computer so I've been keeping that there and then considering that this is probably gets pretty loud under full load like rendering a video I'm not sure this is really going to be practical for a desktop computer even if I could find a good graphic card and, and, and whatnot. However, I really could use a file server because of how many different computers I use around the house. Actually, having a file server would be like a dream come true. So, I think that's what I'm going to do with this. No, I don't even know if it works. So, we're going to have to test it out. Um, I know there's no hard drives in it. I don't know if there's RAM in it or not. I don't even know there's a processor in it. So let's open it up and see if we can determine those things. Get this camera on the tripod here. This is not the good tripod. So it's going to take a minute to get this on. Okay. And I'm going to move this, the computer over. It's really heavy. I struggled to get it up the stairs. It's got to be, I don't know, 50, 60 pounds at least. This uh, keeps coming off. I don't know how to fix that. It looks like something is falling out of there now. So it has a, a CD drive, and it has, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it's got that. We've got some USB ports at the bottom. Now, I believe this is, um, oh, that's cool. Let's set that aside for now. I'm trying to figure out which uh, side is unscrewed. I think. There we go. Alright, I'm going to trim it. Wait, lay this down here. Okay, so I don't see any RAM in there, so that's lovely. I have a feeling this is going to be a more expensive project than I had anticipated. It looks like, let's see here, there is several expansion slots, and I believe I have a graphics card that would fit in that one. So I may, just for purposes of curiosity, put windows on here and see what happens. But uh, like I said, I really don't think I'm going to keep it for that purpose because it's not super practical. But, um, let's see here we got, um, these are all kept off, but we got quite a few uh, connections here. Look at this can take two, three, four, five, six hard drives. 
It appears to only have been two connected, at least that's all we have provisions for right now. I guess it's a floppy disk reader up there at the top. Let's see if we can get this uh, cooler off of here. It looks like we only have one CPU. That's even if there is a, a CPU under there. There very well may not be. And how does this work? comes out here. All right, here's the fan. Never heard of that brand before. Made in China. Seems to have good bearings. Oh, there is RAM in here. I'm losing my mind. Let's see how much RAM we have in here. These are Samsung chips and they are a whopping 256 megabytes and it's not telling me what type of RAM this is. Come on. if the chips are all the same. No, they're not all the same. This is another Samsung, so we have 256 and 256 will give us 512. And then we have two 512 chips uh, manufactured by uh, a brand I don't know of country of origin US lead free and this is DDR2 so it's you know it's got some age to it this is not by any means very modern equipment so it looks like we got a total of uh, 512 and 512 gives us 1024 and the 512, so we got one and a half gigabytes of RAM. Which, I mean, given my usage for it, that would probably be sufficient serving files, but who knows. Okay, we do have a processor on here, which is good. And it's still stuck on there, so I have to redo the thermal paste, which is good. Um, I just have to be remarkably careful putting this back into place. This is pretty clean, so I, there's no reason to clean that. Actually, this whole unit is very clean. What is the deal here? Okay, so the issue was... Is there still a bug in there? The issue was... This was closed. I didn't think of it because it came out without me having to do it. So I ended up having to heat this thing up. 
to get this off and now I can put this in because it's open Well, at least that's the theory. I close that. Yeah, that's in place. Okay. So now I'll put the cooler back on. And before I use this, I'll have to redo the the thermal paste. The heck? Something's not quite right here. This isn't going down all the way. Talk on it. Okay, so what happened was I took a stupid shortcut and tried to put it on with the cooler, which I know you shouldn't do that, and the pins got bent. So I just sat here and straightened out all the pins. So now this should go in. Like that. Close that. And I don't think it matters which way this goes. Is it supposed to go on the other way? sitting right but I mean this is down flush now so I don't know what the problem would be whatever I think that's in place all right so that's that that was a freak show and a half. Um, I don't know if this is dual channel or not, but we'll put it back uh, the way it was. I may actually have another gigabyte stick somewhere that I could put in here and get three gigabytes, which should be enough. Okay, um, let me get this fan back in here. And maybe, I know it doesn't have a hard drive, but maybe I'll power it on and we can look at the some of the specifications in the BIOS. Oh dear, what happened? Pull this out for now. Actually, I'm not gonna cut it's labeled, so I'll just leave that there. And I'll stuff this back in here. Oh, we have a diagram on here. It's not even in the camera. That's great. This is a fantastic production.
Actually, there's a service tag on here, which we should probably look up, and then they give us some information. Okay, so here we are on the Dell website, and it tells me nothing. Um, the only thing I'm seeing here is that it's from 2005. So it's got some age to it. We're in 2018 in the time of this video, so it's, uh, it's an old machine. But I don't see why it wants to work. So the next thing I'm going to do is dig out a monitor. I have this uh, monitor over there, which I've never used before, so I don't even know if it works, but we can try that one. And we'll get this thing powered up and see if it works. Uh, there is some information on there. I don't think it's anything that's really uh, identifying. Well, let's go and wrap up this video, and uh, we'll be back soon.